Hi all of you, I welcome you all with a new video on mechanism of action of enzymes. So one of the mechanism of action of enzyme is covalent catalysis and the example is chymotrypsin. Chymotrypsin is a digestive enzyme, it's a serine protease. So let's see how the chymotrypsin works by covalent catalysis, right? So the function of chymotrypsin is to break the peptide bonds, is it not? Now let's see in the actives, this is the chymotrypsin active site so in the active site of the chymotrypsin three amino acids play an important role one is aspartate 102 and histidine 57 and serine 195 so they these three forms the catalytic triad in the active site of the enzyme so they also call it as charge relay system they also call it as charge relay network yes these three functions as proton shuttles these three functions and acts as proton shuttle so aspartate histidine and serine so we all know chymotrypsin is a serine protease so serine is going to exert the attack on the substrate so as the substrate binds to the active site of the enzyme this is the substrate so if you see the peptide bond here COnH is a peptide bond here so we need to break this peptide bond that is done by the serine and what helps it aspartate and histidine helps in uh, this process now first what happens the serine has this OH group the OH group on the serine is less nucleophilic so in order to make the oxygen more nucleophilic the histidine will abstract the proton from the serine now this exit this makes the oxygen more nucleophilic and the nucleophilic attack is exerted on the carbonyl carbon of the peptide bond of the substrate right so as it attacks what happens the H plus is abstracted here by the histidine aspartate so now there uh, is the amino terminal and the serine exerts a nucleophilic attack on the carbonyl carbon of the peptide bond now here this uh, histidine has this one proton is it not this proton is donated to the amino terminal of the substrate and it releases the amino terminal yes it releases the amino terminal so thus the amino terminal of this peptide bond is now released now next what happens next what happens is that as the amino terminal is released it leaves the catalytic site it leaves the catalytic site and now serine is bound to the carboxy terminal right so c o s c double bond o r 2 it is now bound to this serine now what should we do we have at the end of the reaction we need to bring the active site of the enzyme or, or back to the original form is it not so now a water molecule comes and sits in the catalytic site so with the help of the water molecule water molecule is nothing but hoh -H, is it not now this to make this water molecule uh, more nucleophilic and to uh, make it to exert a nucleophilic attack on the uh, substrate what happens this one proton of the water molecule is now taken up by this histidine aspartate proton shifts and then this oxygen will exert a uh, nucleophilic attack on this carbon and joins with the carbon. Now the histidine donates this proton. So look at this step. Now that the OH is bound, uh, bound to this CO, right? Uh, OH is bound to this carbon of the substrate. Now again the histidine has this H in it. So this proton is given to the serine okay this proton from the histidine is given to the serine and it breaks this bond between the substrate and the serine so now what happens the serine aspartate and the histidine are back to its original form releasing this r2covoh of the substrate yes so thus we have successfully uh, uh, thus we have successfully broken this peptide bond is it not and the enzyme also has come back to its original form so here here or how does this uh, act so as 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 in as in when the substrate as the substrate binds to the serine what happens here as the substrate binds to the serine we have this aspartate serine substrate and the sorry aspartate histidine serine and substrate yes so this is a tetrahedral intermediate this is a tetrahedral 
intermediate yes so similarly as water is uh, water binds to the as the water binds to the catalytic side when it comes to the catalytic side the h plus of water is taken by the histidine and oh by the substrate is it not so that in that case also it forms another tetrahedral intermediate so by forming tetrahedral intermediate and proton shifts proton shifts the chymotrypsin successfully breaks the peptide bonds right so this is mechanism of action of chymotrypsin by covalent catalysis thank you all